What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the highly anticipated massive unboxing number eight for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys don't miss on any content to come. We have a lot of planes here to unbox, so um, I'm just gonna open the box real quick. We're gonna go back to how we did in number six, and then we'll go over each and every aircraft. Uh, before we start, I wanna give a huge thank you to Prairie Diecast once again for making this video possible. I'll have their uh, ad run here in a moment. But uh, anyways, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start right here with this box. I'm gonna unbox every plane, and then I'm going to review them all. Uh, this box has a retro model in it. I've been excited to get it open, so I will show you guys what's inside. Okay, so we have some styrofoam here. And there it is. Wow, that fit nice and snug. Okay, the box is a little beat up here, but right here we have the Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the final paint scheme. What an awesome aircraft to this side, the bowling shoe without winglets. So here's the model. Okay, uh, I'm liking that. Just a little overview. This model is really special. This model actually came from the one and only Gemini Jets 13. I uh, bought this off him on eBay. Here's his um, user eBay username. He posts some stuff infrequently that he uh, doesn't need, so, or you know, trying to get some money for some new projects that he's doing. So okay, uh, he's got some newspaper folded up. There we go. Right here we have the U.S. Airways Airbus A321 from 2009. This one of his oldest ones. Um, he has so many of them, so uh, what an honor this is to have, and we'll talk more in depth about this when we get to it. So we have two more boxes, and there's a lot of planes in here. Okay, this one should have two. This is another uh, company buy. I'll talk about it more in depth in a moment. So we have the invoice. Holy crap, that box is big. Um, I'll give some more credit to Aviation of Four. Holy crap, that is huge. I forgot. I haven't got a wide body in a long time. We had the UPS uh, McDonald's Doubles MD-11. That shook me, man. I have not got this big of a box in a long time. I'm used to the NG and everything. And finally, it's been a long time. We had the UPS Boeing 747 as well. I'll talk about why I got those in a moment, but I haven't had a 747 in a long time. So I'm very pumped about these two as well. And we're just getting started too is what's awesome. So I once again want to thank Prairie Diecast so much for making this video possible. I will run their ad right now. This video is brought to you by Prairie Diecast. Prairie Diecast is the largest model airplane retailer in Western Canada with a huge selection of 1 to 400 scale models. With the latest models from NG models, Gemini Jets, and a ton of retro models, there's something for everybody. Just make sure to change to your respective currency and you'll be ready to go. Prairie Diecast is awesome for many reasons. Some of my favorite elements about Prairie Diecast is the quick shipping, the clearance page which has a ton of models for great deals, and the free shipping on models over 75 US dollars. I ordered two models from the NG models releases from June and spent $80. That's $5 off retail per model. For that price, make sure you use my promo code Red River Aviation at checkout for 11% off your order. That's Red River Aviation for 11% off your next order. Go check out Prairie Diecast in the description. You'll not be disappointed. So as you guys can see, Prairie Diecast is fantastic. They did that first video and um, I wanna give huge thanks to uh, the uh, store owner once again for making uh, this neck or this order possible But we have a lot of aircraft in here one is a surprise I did tell him to throw me in a surprise aircraft the rest I know about so let's just get into this box man Okay, got a lot in this box Looks like it is all one of them is a random model. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna start pulling them out and we'll see which one's random Okay, he yeah, have a lot of models. Oh, I see the box. It's like bluish um, well, anyway, um, right here. Okay, okay, I like what he did. Okay, I, I had to look through. Okay, Northwest A320. The box is looking real sharp. Um, I'll talk about each and every aircraft in a moment. I like liking what he did here. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to open the box with that, but it kind of just happened. 2008 American Airlines Boeing 757. 200 with winglets. Sorry. Come on, box. Man, this thing's been through it all. 2008 American 757 with the white logo. We've, we talked about this one a little. 
But I have to say, I pro this is probably better than the Air Canada A330. Have the United Airlines 787-9. What a box. Wow. The Hawaiian Airlines A330-200 um, in the new livery by NG Models as well. The Lasky 175 honoring those who serve. We are just getting started, y'all. American Airlines 767-300 new livery. I did this in mass unboxing too, so we're gonna do it again. If you guys will get the preference. You already know. Oh my god, what an army. And finally, a third American Eagle Ember 135. Or 140, that I'll use it. That's a 145 that I'll use 130. I didn't know that he was gonna ship this with it. He didn't say, but my god, what a army, boys. Holy crap. Shim and me, man. Holy crap. God, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to talk about massive, let's back up the camera. Wow. Okay, so we have an army, so I'm gonna set up them up in front of us and we'll start with each and every aircraft. We have a lot of models, guys. <laughs> that is incredible. Okay, we're gonna start with the um, we're gonna start with the model I already have uh, because I want to leave all this. This is great. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve aircraft for you guys to unbox today. Wow. Okay. Let's start with the. Um, I'm gonna just leave these boxes in the background, but that's okay. We'll start with the model I already have. Uh, Right here, we have the uh, American Eagle Ember 145 by Skyliners. I do have this one. I need another one just to beef up some reason. So right here, we have the front. Nice uh, design here on the front. Get the sides. I'm not going to take too, too much time just uh, so we don't. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to go over today. Uh, no pamphlet or anything. Here's the back. 2001-ish uh, release, I think, from when I was doing my chart. So we'll unbox this little guy. Now, I actually did have two of the Skyliners ones. One broke, so it's nice to kind of get that replacement. Here it is in plastic. Okay, right here we have the American Eagle Ember 145 that I'll use as 35. Uh, you guys have seen this many times in Dallas updates, so I'll kind of run through it. Got the uh, front here with a lot of blue on the nose. That's probably correct, just was making note. Then you have the American Eagle tiles, the L1 boarding door. Got the uh, nose wheel here in the front, sliding through along here. You got the uh, emergency exit here. This is November uh, 823 maybe, 824 Alpha Echo. Now the old livery, they did a little rephase um, over time. RJ Regional Jet was there for a long time. They took that off. So, and then you have the American Eagle Tell here. Uh, same thing over here. Just got the luggage loader. Got the, or luggage loaders. Pardon. Got the Skyliners logo down there. RJ Regional Jet. I kind of. Uh, there's a lot of great models to get to, so I didn't want to take too too much time. But what an awesome aircraft we have here. The American Eagle Ember 135. Okay. Now we can get into some fun. I'm gonna kind of do this a little differently. We have quite a. Uh, a few more retros now I'd normally have. So I'm going to do the retros first. Um, we are gonna do the, um, I'll save US Airways. We'll do Northwest 757 first. So here's the front of the box. Um, got a little uh, scratches. I bought this off eBay for $45. It was a good deal. Have the uh, Northwest aircraft. It's really small generator on the front here, so that's very interesting. NWA last logo, and then you got the Boeing 757. Gotta love that old font that Jim and I used to have. Here's the side of the box. Top, side, the bottom. Uh, really nice and big. 2007 release. Uh, this is before they did their little white logo stage. Here's the aircraft. I'll talk about the color in a minute. And then you have the inside pamphlet. Pause to read if you wish. Okay, let's get this one out of here. Let's unbox. Uh, this one was taken out for the uh, picture on the eBay listing. Uh, you have the plastic there, which is typical, but uh, you have some styrofoam there on the tail, which is a very neat uh, gesture there by the my guess. And I'll just, I don't know, I'm not sure if that was included with the model or if the cus, or sorry, if the previous owner did that, but we'll take it regardless. Okay, so this one definitely does come out different in the uh, sense of lighting is definitely a, uh, let's see here, I'll put it over here. Right. Lighting definitely um, shows this one off differently. Okay, so this color, um, the color in the box is correct. Let me see if I can kind of slide that in there. It's a lot lighter. This is, I'm not sure what, they did this in like the A320 and a couple other models too, 319 maybe, where it's, this is like a mix between tan and gold. This is pretty random. Anyways, you got the cockpit windows, you got the L1 door. 
I absolutely love this old 757 mold. This is something else. Uh, you got the or Northwest titles. This is my first model in the uh, last livery, and it was a really good deal, so I just thought I would take it type deal. Trying to beef up this on Blackstone, if you can't tell. And you got this uh, L2 door. You got the Rolls Royce engines here. Uh, the color's looking real good. At least they got the red correct. Uh, that red looks a lot closer. Maybe a little dark, but I don't think it's a huge deal. The uh, overwing exits here. Uh, you got the Northwest Tell here looking good. This November uh, 538 Uniform Sierra. Uh, this one's probably still flying for Delta, if I had to guess. Uh, on the other side here, you got the uh, luggage loaders is the only key difference. I absolutely love this old 757 mold. How the wheel tilts just a touch here, and then you got the underbelly here. Uh, I'm not sure what they were doing with the color. This is uh, kind of off. Gemini Jets, pretty big logo. I uh, love the one-piece mold. Uh, this is fantastic. Um, let me see, just to make sure I didn't miss any detail. You got the uh, fleet number and a couple things here on the wheel. Uh, Sky Team logo, I did miss the Sky Team logo. Uh, I got the United States flag under registration there. Uh, here's a view of the nice uh, icon there on the Northwest Tell. That is very, very nice. Man, I miss Northwest. What an aircraft this was. The color's way off, so that would deduct my rating on it. But besides that, it is a fantastic model. Uh, I changed my mind a little. I'm going to leave the 320 for the end because that's a new aircraft. So let's do the uh, US Airways H21. Now, if you guys are unaware um, of the man, the myth, the legend, Gemini Jets 13, he does have an eBay. He's selling a couple aircraft that he um, really doesn't ideally need for all of his stuff. Uh, he's doing the retro CLT, but I think he had like, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, eight through 21s. So he decided to sell one of the older ones. This was uh, $35 free shipping from my man. So I just decided to go for it. Uh, so I had the 757 back in the day, US Airways paint scheme. I don't have any, so what my plan is to do until NG releases the uh, the retro aircraft with the American titles, I'm just gonna put American over here on the US Airways titles and just use it as a cu uh, custom. So we have the US Airways Airbus A321, one of the foreign scale die cast model. Nice uh, different color there. Uh, Gemini Jets logo made for collector by collectors. Got the 321. I, this is a CFM config. I thought this was an IE. I thought that's what I saw. Uh, yeah, these are CFMs. That's okay, the mold's good. Uh, here's the inside pamphlet. You got the model right there. I did not know it was CFM, but that'll work. This is uh, crazy to have a model from Gemini Jets 13. This is uh, kind of surreal. Uh, he told me he didn't uh, use this, or hasn't used this one in a long time. It's been sitting in the box for a while, so uh, let's get it out and see what it's all about, shall we? I'm assuming he bought this one new. Okay, so this is, okay. So this gave me an optical illusion, this little thing right here, that the model was way off center, but I think it's just to keep it out of that range. Just making sure you didn't leave anything. Uh, but nope, it is just the uh, 321 here. And here it is. So once, like I said, this is the 2009 rendition of the uh, US Airways 321 that Jim Lee did back in the, uh, that had a good CFM mold. I can't, I don't think I have a 321 with the uh, old CFM mold, so this is definitely a first for me. Um, so yeah, let's get into this uh, aircraft in full detail here. Okay, this is in the old white US Airways livery, which is beautiful. You got the cockpit windows, nice uh, nose design here with the landing gear right there. You got the uh, L1 door star alliance logo. You got the US Airways titles across with the L2 door. You got the CFM engines, which are looking uh, on point, man. I'll show you, uh, we do have a couple of disproportional models in this review that I will show you guys all about. Um, then you got the nice wave that goes, I missed having an aircraft in this livery. Uh, you got the uh, winglets here, which do have the little US Airways flag on opposite side, which is fantastic. Uh, and then you got the uh, wing detail flats, slats, and speed brakes looking good. You got the L3 door, like I said, the wave. And then you got the L4 door, this November 161 uniform whiskey. Uh, you got the US Airways tail here with the nice blue going through it. And then the red, there's a little chip right there is on the other side. No, I'm not sure if that was uh, on him or if that's just how it came, but nevertheless, it doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, back of the aircraft, sorry, I kind of was off. Uh, underbelly, uh, you got the uh, nice blue, navy blue here, and you got the Gemini Jets uh, logo as well, of course, with the stand, and then you got the back with the uh, blue, and then you got the uh, red back here, so. What an awesome model. Um, thank you very much, Gemini Jets 13, for the quick shipping and uh, selling one of these off. Uh, you want is eBay once again, Air Trans fan or Air Trans 314 is. I'm not sure if he's going to be listing much more stuff, uh, but if he does, definitely go for it, guys. Uh, great guy, love his channel. Go subscribe to him and go show him all the love and support. Okay, so that will lead us to. Uh, yeah, I think I want to do the American 757 next. Uh, I've been trying to hunt this one down for a very, very long time. Um, 
What is really special about this aircraft is, I remember back when I very first got into planes and everything, I remember looking at this picture and staring at it. This was right before the 2012, which I'll show you guys. This was my very first Gemini jet. This is my American Airlines 757-200. This is November 602 Alpha November. This is the uh, 2012 release. Unfortunately, as you can tell, it's been beat to crap. But right before this came out, I had my eye just locked on this aircraft. And I really, really, really wanted it uh, for the longest time. That picture is just so iconic. I'll put it on the screen. That picture was just, I, it was insane. So, um, what an amazing aircraft it is. Um, Prairie Diecast came across on the website for for this around, um, it was, sorry guys, I'm forgetting. Uh, he had it up there for 35 bucks. Uh, this usually goes for at least 50 on eBay. It's been one I've been trying to get for a long time, and I'm very excited. You got the white Gemini logo, which is just so iconic, man. You got the American Airlines 757 right there. Uh, I do have two of the 2013 or whichever one 603 is. This is 601. Got the American Airlines old and then old font on the 757. Got the side here, the box with the American Airlines uh, aircraft white Gemini logo. They got the back. This box is beat down. I think this one came across from somebody. This just really shows how times fly. This aircraft was $24.95 in whichever hobby shot it was bought at. That is crazy. These go for $45 now. Oh, almost double the price. Um, right here you had the pamphlet and then the aircraft put in backwards, but that's okay. That is giving me some real old Man, that is amazing. 601's finally made it to my collection. Sorry, come on, son, come on. No intervals right now. Ugh. Anyways, son will be back shortly. Finally. Wow. Okay. Got the cockpit windows, you got the bottom here, which is just looking fantastic. What that nose will, or what I was saying was that nose was just amazing. Got the 601 right there, got the American Airlines titles, looking fantastic, man. Got the one piece there, what a shine, gosh, man, wow, look at that. Uh, wings looking good, got the AA.com winglets. This really turns it back for me, man. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh, you can kind of tell this one's a little more offset. Uh, oh, it tells them on that one. Uh, they're a little more centered on uh, 603 and I think 602 as well. A.com winglets. Uh, the font's also a little different on the uh, registration, November 601, Alpha November. Wow. This has been a dream to come true. I've always won 2008, not 2012. I've had 2014. I need to get 2012 a proper aircraft so I can complete my winglet fleet of this aircraft. Other side is the same. You got the uh, luggage loaders there. This is such a beautiful aircraft. Even, I guess, I haven't had those other ones off the shelf since last year. So, but I mean, this one, it's 2008. It is exceptional. I am so glad to finally have this. Um, it's perfect and want to get 602 to um, complete the collection. But fantastic model. If you can find it, go get it. And that will wrap the uh, retro side of this. Now we do have a ton of new aircraft. Uh, I see like eight, or not new, but you know, like kind of non-retro stuff. Uh, but besides Nor Northwest A320, which I, I'm gonna save the big boys for last, the NGs and the uh, UPS aircraft, because those have some stories. So that leaves us with, um, yeah, the, um, the, uh, June releases for Gemini Jets. Sorry if I've been all over the place, guys. This is a surreal unboxing, but uh, I got the Northwest A320 because I'm trying to build up my Northwest fleet. They're one of my favorite retro airlines behind American's old livery, so obviously, obviously trying to build them up. So Boeing shoe came out on 320 with the CFM engines. Not great, but we'll take it. Got the Alaska E-175 honoring those who serve. Uh, it does have the wing defect. We'll talk about that in a moment, but we'll do that. And we'll save the best for last. We got two American 767-300s. So, we'll start with the North Plus A320. You got the box here. I'm not gonna rattle it. If it comes broken, I wanna see it for myself. I've not. Se I've only seen like one person get this and they didn't get it broken. You got the Gemini logo, you got the North Plus A320 generated with the bowling shoe. A320, uh, last NWA logo. That is neat how they do that. They did that with the American MDA as well as uh, vi vice versa, other aircraft. The uh, Northwest right there. Glad Gemini's taking a little step here to do some uh, older aircraft as well as reels. It gets got the newer art design or newer uh, format here on the back. Uh, 2019 release. Don't know if this is a box issue or if they pushed it back, but I just thought it's humorous. 
Um, I don't even know if they use our Twitter, but I know Instagram, Facebook, and obviously the website. Um, just a little more look around the sides here. And yeah, I'm not gonna open the pamphlet. As we know with these Airbus Nero bodies, if they come broken, I wanna see it. So we're gonna see if the North Coast 320 is broken by Gemini Jets. Um, it's in there backwards uh, compared to what they normally do. I don't know if that was a check by Prairie Diecast or what that was. Very narrow inside. I, they do that with some of the Airbuses. Um, select, obviously. Uh, it could have been, this model may have been checked for uh, obvious reasons. Nice and sturdy. Check the horizontal stabilizers, landing gear. One of them's not gonna roll, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, uh, well the model's not broken, but it uh, would appear to be, and uh, not to get critical, but I did just wanna look to see if the flap, um, flap looks good on that side. Something has me feeling that maybe he looked in there, which I don't have a problem with. It's better than it coming broken, that's a fact. But anyways, we have the Northwest Airlines Airbus A320 with the CFM configuration by Gemini Jets in the June 2020 releases. Okay, we have uh, the Northwest A320. It is fine. There's a couple issues with it, but it's not broken or anything. Uh, if we have the nose here, um, let's just throw this picture on the screen, and that pretty much shows off. Um, it's not uh, horrible, but it's not necessarily correct. Colors are great, though. I'll give that to Gemini. They did a fantastic job on the colors here. Uh, the gray and the red really are vibrant. That is fantastic. You got that old Northwest font that is iconic. Um, and then you have the nose wheel here, obviously, with some details on the pitot tubes and some other details with the Northwest flag under there. Uh, or sorry, North America flag under there. Or, oh my gosh, US flag under there, which is looking real sharp. Now the engines, let's talk about this. All right, not only are engines disproportional, but let's take a look at this. Okay, guys, I just, <laughs> I'm editing this, and this is a hot mess right here. Look at this. We have disproportional engines. The right one is crooked. The landing gear are about to come off. The nose, uh, the line's crooked. The cockpit windows are crooked. The antenna's off. Uh, the back left horizontal stabilizer is incorrect. I mean, this... <laughs> The color is not the only thing good on this model. I mean, if, if you want one picture to describe Gemini Jets in 2020, this is it. This is, if, <laughs> oh, I'm just going to let you guys watch the review. Okay, it's not as bad from looking at this view, but um, there we go. Uh, as you can tell, this one's a little better aligned, but still pointing down some. This one's absolute garbage. That, oh my gosh, that is, and it's really sturdy on there. Wow, okay. Anyways, we have the uh, emergency exits over here. The wings are looking good, at least the uh, detail on them. Wheels are aligned fairly properly. Uh, looking somewhat decent, not the best, but uh, not horrible by any means. Um, besides the engines, of course, which that's molded. If I press it too hard, it's gonna fall off, so I gotta be, it is what it is. I uh, got the second antenna there, looking real nice. The colors are great, though. The colors do make up for some of the issues with this model. It's definitely not a great one, I'll, or I'll agree with that. Um, now this is kind of a black, navy bluish. I can't really tell, so I'm not going to give my full opinions on that at this current time. Registration is November 365, November U whiskey, rather. I apologize. Uh, that registration is flying with Delta, I believe. And then we have the Northwest Tel. Absolutely love that um, icon there on the top. However, I do prefer the uh, older livery, which is just, mm, or sorry. No, I prefer this. I prefer the older livery, but it also looks nice there. But I prefer it in this format, rather, is what I was trying to get at. Uh, again, we have the other side here looking better with this engine propped up better. Um, then you have the uh, Sky Team logo. Yes, sorry, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Um, and then we had the uh, wheel down here, the wings looking good, and the um, November 365, November Whiskey. Um, and then that gray and red combo, man. That's the main reason I got it. The colors are correct. If the colors would have been off, I would have passed. But the engines, I mean, it's still a very nice aircraft. Maybe it's a future custom idea in that, uh, at some point. But uh, not a horrible model. Uh, I got what I expected with the uh, disproportional engines, but at least delivery is amazing. So let's get on to our next model. And as we uh, mentioned, uh, here's the pamphlet. Or now that I'm showing you guys, because I know I want to make sure it wasn't broken. And there's the inside. 
Okay, so here we have the Alaska Ember 175 in the Honoring Those Who Serve livery. I really need a second one for rotation purposes, and uh, this is just a fantastic livery and aircraft combination. There is a defect that I've seen through the internet, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. You got the Gem Legends logo made for collectors by collectors. You got the computer generated image with a love of the wing, if you guys uh, know what I'm already getting at. The Ember 175 titles, Alaska, one of four hundred scale model aircraft. I like the light blue in this combination. Got the side of the box here, top side and the bottom have the back uh now this one has 2020 on it so i feel like some of the other models are probably back this is my guess but um yeah looking at the oh it actually eh, we'll see when i get it out it doesn't look as bad but uh, i got the pamphlet here and you got the uh aircraft specifications thank you light and then we have the aircraft that's uh, probably gonna be bad anyways uh, if you guys are not, or if you guys aren't aware of what I'm getting at, I'm talking about the wing flex on this baby. So let's look at, let's get into it. Okay, besides the wing flex problem, though, it is a fantastic model. You got the cockpit windows, the nose is looking sharp. Um, Jim Legends 13 also did a fantastic review on this aircraft in 1-200. Uh, if it comes back on the Alaska Company store for 1-200, I am snagging that so fast uh, because it was insane. But it still comes out very nice on the 1-400 skill with a small decal there with honoring those who serve. Nice uh, message there. You got the honoring those who serve titles with the Alaska in gray. Uh, they actually did a very nice job nailing this in 1-400, I have to say. It's not bad at all. Uh, you got the enhanced winglets with the uh, wing flex. Uh, it's just a defect that they have now in their quality control, which is just falling apart. Nice stripe around the engines, though, with the uh, flag going across the uh, enhanced winglets. This is November 651 uh, Colbeck X-Ray. Uh, nice red, white, and blue to show or respect our veterans, which I thank you guys very much if any of you guys are watching this. And we have Chester back here looking great. Uh, these intervals are definitely having the time of their life. Uh, I will wait just so Chester can shine. Okay, after about five minutes of waiting, look at that. What a fantastic model besides the wing defect, um, but the detailing and everything is absolutely phenomenal, the livery and just uh, the quality in general besides the uh, that. But uh, yeah, okay, so we have another fantastic model here that I've seen. Um, I actually bought three of these. One of them went to uh, Citrus Aviation, if he did a full review on that, if you wish to go check it out. Uh, one of them went to Citrus Aviation for some artwork, uh, the intro, uh, an alternate logo, and a couple other things. And um, I bought two for myself. So right here we have the 2020 American Airlines Boeing 767-300ER in one to four inch scale by Gemini Jets. I bought two of these because um, obviously um, I'm trying to get two of all the uh, new American Airlines aircraft released. I'm not sure about the 787-8 that just got announced. Uh, we'll have to see if that one's a good model or not. But pre-ordered these from Prairie Diecast as the uh, last couple as well. And I'm very excited to get into them. Uh, it's very similar to the 2016, just a couple of uh, different things. I'll get uh, one out to compare, or I'll get the 2016 out to compare in a moment. But we'll uh, review one. I'll leave the other one for uh, the thumbnail. Got the uh, Gemini Jets logo, got the American Airlines. Uh, perfect color in the box and the aircraft. This model is so good, I'm so excited to get into it. Boeing 767 300 ER, you got the American Airlines titles here, one to 400 scale with the sunshine. Uh, side of the box, you got the top, side, bottom, uh, as real as it gets, 2020. So they got this one right too, but they could not get the Northwest correct. Uh, aircraft's looking fantastic in there. Here's the uh, pamphlet, and we are gonna get into it. Uh, what an awesome model. I'm gonna have a plethora of 767s uh, in my fleet now with the 2016, the One World, and now this one. And it's a one piece, so that is beautiful. Rain, landing gear rolling perfectly. Okay, so here is the model, Let the Sun Shine. Uh, it is fantastic, it is as good. Now the 2016 one I had no problems, with it. I'll bring it in just a moment, but let's uh, zoom in and get some better views of the, uh, and go in detail. Okay, you got the cockpit windows looking very sharp, then you got the L1 door, got the American Airlines titles, you also have the uh, fleet number and everything down here on the bottom of the gear. Landing gear looks very nice too. Uh, the nose, looks maybe a touch off. I'll bring the other one in to compare, but I think it's pretty close, if not I correct. Gemini Jets has always had a very solid 767 mold, and that continues to this day. Uh, when they don't screw up models, they are really, really good, and this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. I got the antenna right there, and you got the American titles looking very sharp. You got these beautiful engines here. Uh, passing through back here, we got some beautiful winglets here. And uh, one thing that really was, um, crazy about this mold. I think this is the first time Gemini's ever done it, but we have not one, but two Wi-Fi boxes on this aircraft, which is fantastic. They look really, really good. 
Uh, and then you have the uh, lane gears, like I mentioned, that look really good. Uh, they do not pivot, obvious, or... No, they don't pivot, I was just making sure. I don't think they do, let me make sure. Yeah, no pivoting, it's just that close. Um, and then you have, uh, this registration is November 392, Alpha November. The first one released that I'll show you guys in a moment was 393. Uh, and then you have the back door here, got the beautiful American uh, Airlines logo here. Sun just, I mean, it didn't cooperate earlier, but finally when it needed to. Um, it's looking to get better. It looks that we have a big long path here uh, of sun scratch. Um, let me scoot down the camera and stuff. Anyways, I'll pop, or we'll take a look at the other side real quick. Awesome loading doors here. Uh, just a fantastic model, guys. This is one to go buy and spend your money on compared to that Northwest A320, or if you don't like the winged effect, the last U175. Now this model is very, very similar to the two. Wow, there's actually a color difference, okay. I didn't think there was gonna be a color difference, but there is. Okay, so as you guys can see, on the right we have the 2016, on the left, ooh, sorry. On the right we have the 2016, on the left we have the 2020. The 2021 is glossy. Uh, this reminds me a lot of, uh, what model was it? I can't remember what model it was, but one model was real glossy too that Gemini released recently. It was not the 320, it was another model. But um, I probably need to go get my 7.5s in the new livery and compare that up too. But uh, yeah, the, the paint's actually different. This looks the closest to me. And if you get the box right here, uh, sorry, oh, this one has a model on it. That's why it's so heavy. As you can tell, the right looks pretty much the correct color. So I don't know why they slightly adjusted it. Now maybe it's just to make it more reflective or whatever. That doesn't change the fact that it's a great model. And obviously the Wi-Fi boxes I think are the only major difference between these uh, two renditions. They are very similar. If you do have the 2016, um, I don't say it's a must to pick up the 2020. Um, one other thing that I noticed is there's just a touch more detail here on the landing gear that would appear to be. Um, the tail looks better on this one. It has that more gloss fill, which I think is more correct for the tail, but the fuselage not so much. Uh, obviously both pretty much the same mold, just the Wi-Fi boxes is the only real difference. Um, engines look slightly different on that mold. They look a little better. This one's a little more plain. That one has the, uh, some more gloss and it looks maybe a touch smaller, but not a big deal at all. Um, yeah. Uh, pretty crazy how similar these two are besides the color. I think was shocked when I figured out the color was the same. But the uh, 2020 is the one we're here to talk about. It's a fantastic model. I highly recommend it and uh, definitely get it if you uh, want to uh, if you want to uh, show respect to the American 767, which got retired um, a handful of months ago now. I will just quickly uh, take out the second one just to make sure that it's in uh, good, well condition. Okay, cool. So we have two of the uh, 2020. American 767. Okay, so we have some real interesting stuff right here. We have a UPS MD-11 in the current livery and the UPS 747. So first and foremost, I want to give huge thanks to uh, everybody that's told me about the company stores and I uh, continue to find them. A uh, good friend of mine, Aviation 04, and also RM Aviation Travel both let me know that the UPS company store is around and they had some ridiculous, and I mean absolutely bonkers prices for these aircraft. Um, these were both, so what I did, uh, the full process was, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys so you can go do it too. They have a 767, a MD-11, and a 747, and they are, uh, by themselves, $20, but then uh, if you throw the shipping on that, it's gonna go a little up, but what I did was you have to get over $25 to, uh, as the actual item, to use a coupon called, a coupon called New Shopper, which you can put in there and it takes the price way down. So I got both these for, I think $45, I think 747 was 25, and then the uh, coupon took the shipping off pretty much. So I got both these for way under retail. And like Aviation 04 talked about in his review, um, I agree with this hypothetical theory that uh, the companies, uh, once they buy the model, since they this is uh, they already had their uh, profit off it with the actual model that was made. They don't need to come back around, swing back around, and uh, sell them for even more. So that's why they are way under retail to buy. But anyways, I am very glad to have these two. MD11 regularly files into Dallas and I believe Phoenix as well. The 747 comes rarely, but um, it might. So. Um, both of them are 2019 releases. I'm so excited. So a couple little comparison things on the boxes before we get into the actual aircraft. Uh, I, this is my, um, 
fourth and fifth UPS aircraft. These are my uh, second and third Gemini jets. The last Gemini one I got was a 767, or I would have got that one probably, obviously. But uh, the blue is darker over here on 747, which is interesting. And then it's browner, or lighter, light brown right here and darker brown. So that's very interesting, I thought. But I want to leave that for last. I'll talk about why I got this one in a moment. But the MV-11 obviously for Dallas and uh, 20 bucks, you can't pass it up. And there's even more to go about. You got a lighter blue here on the front. You got the, uh, the ground doubles MV-11 right here. You got the side here, very quick shipping on these. These came in like uh, three days or so for me. Uh, 2019 release with the copyright. Uh, the 767 that you know, forgot did not have that, so that was interesting. Uh, here's the top here, a uh, huge box. I was shocked, man, uh, right here on top there and then you got the aircraft and it comes with a stand which is worth ten dollars by itself both of them should have stands so i'm very very excited to get into this and here we go absolutely huge plastic um i never got these big of wide body kind of thing so i think that's why it's so shocking i think the delta 350 and maybe a couple others uh just like aviation of force the stand stayed in its plastic tray oh well dude as you can tell it's very, very weird. Uh, so we have some sort of rust type junk on the stand, which is something I have never quite seen before, but we will still get it out and see if it's uh, usable. Uh, stand is off, but it, it'll work. And then we have the uh, aircraft inside, which we will take out. A 2019 release, first in the 11. And it is looking sharp. Wow, okay. I will put this on the stand and we will review it. Okay, so the stand's messed up, then we have aircraft in the background, so I'll just take it off. Stand's uh, not fitting in properly. Uh, it needs, uh, I'm gonna have to super glue that to make it uh, prop more proper, but really glad I found the UPS company store. What a model for, essentially like Aviation 04 said, $10 pretty much if you don't, if you just include the stand. But you have the cockpit windows, this is an awesome model, man, wow. And then you have the L1 door, you got the, um, you have the uh, cargo loader, and then the new livery worldwide services. Uh, my assumption is on the comp company's website, why it's in the uh, old paint scheme is, they probably had the product for a long time and didn't feel like updating the picture, so that's my assumption, and uh, they got uh, restocks with the new livery. Uh, you have the, uh, uh, going through here, it's a big aircraft, nice and big, uh, similar size, a little bigger than the 767. Uh, you got the engines there, and then you have the uh, the wings looking very nice. Very cool on the MD-11, how it has that little slap thing, or, you know, that little notch right there. I think it's super cool. Slaps, flaps, and speed brakes. This November 280 Uniform Papa. And then you have the beautiful UPS logo and the third engine up right here. Very nice detail on the back. Uh, on the other side here, you got some uh, cargo loaders here, and that's pretty much the only difference. What an awesome model, man. Um, as of for rolling landing gear, they don't roll which is fine uh underbelly looking very sharp as well uh there we go gemini jets i got the stand hole as well uh, the stands all jacked up so that's why i'm gonna, I'm gonna need to super glue it but the actual model is fantastic what a still i was able to get and i'm really glad to have this for dallas as finally a wide body cargo aircraft that's like big not the 767 so that's epic okay the ups 747 um you guys are probably wondering why i got this well this may come as a shock to a lot of you guys, but if you guys remember correctly, I have not had a 747 in uh, like seven years. I had the British Airways, the British Asia, and then I even had a Quantas 380. Uh, they all broke uh, very early days of my collecting, so I've never got a 747 since. I about got the BA a couple months ago, and I really wanted that one, but i um, not sure about the future of that one in Dallas getting the 7810, so I'm probably just gonna get the uh, British Airways 7810. But I've always wanted a 747, or you know, or. I've really wanted to get a 747 for a long time uh, to uh, have one at least. And even though I won't be using this a lot, probably storyline and I, it occasionally comes to Dallas, very rare. But um, I'll find a way to use this and at least have a 747 in my collection. That was the plan. It's 747 400, of course, which is fantastic. Got the Gemini Jets logo, made for collectors by collectors. Got the uh, 747 here. A lot of people say Gemini 747 mold's very good. The MD-11 is very good. Seems like the unpopular stuff's always very good. I mean, like the MD-11 and the E-190, 717, things like that. Those molds are always great for Gemini. I uh, got the light brown and light blue. What a combo this is. Hopefully it comes up on camera decent. Then you got the Boeing 747 UPS logo. 
Got the side here, this box is big, just as big as the MD-11, but it's gonna be an even bigger aircraft. Haven't had a 747 in a long time. 2017 with no copyright as well. Aviation um, 04 is 767 had no copyright, so interesting there. Um, I love that brown, that's an awesome touch. Look at that. That shows off the brown that's right here, that's awesome. That thing is huge, wow. Okay, got the uh, flap here, and then you got 747, and this one comes with a stand as well. Let's get into the box. Here we go. Huge aircraft, man. Okay, taking it out. Uh, you have the stand, which uh, this on this one actually dropped in, and let's see if it's propped up any better. Now it's 2019 release, so I'm not putting money on it. Uh, it's a little better, not great. Remove the plastic. Finally, nice to have a 747 again. This is not no 2019, dude. Uh, well, we have a uh, just from initial notice, we have a loose landing gear. Are they supposed to do that? Um, I, I don't have a 747, but that looks to be a really big carve out. So maybe they're supposed to pivot. Very neat, very neat. Okay, um, now I'm not sure if the cargo 747 or the 747-400F is supposed to have non-rolling landing gear and no antennas and stuff. I'm not sure if this is an older rendition. If somebody would comment and let me know, I'd be very appreciative. We got so many models, guys. This is insane. What a model, guys. This thing is huge. Okay, we got the cockpit windows. Now, this is so cool. This is one model I'd really like to see on the in-flight series. Or, sorry, the interactive series. Uh, the 747 8 mold, they have the, uh, where the nose can come out. They have that outlined here, which is so cool. Maybe I'll have to buy one of those and do a whole video on it. I uh, got the boarding door, got the three windows up here, worldwide services. What a huge aircraft this is. Uh, and then you have the engines here. Uh, making sure I have it in the frame, sorry. Uh, finally, nice to have a 747 again. I need to get the BA one. That one's just so special to me. Uh, seeing that at Dallas and everything. Then you have the cargo loader back here. Um, and then you have, this is November 572 Uniform Papa UPS Tell. So nice to finally have a 747-400 again. Um, and then you have the Worldwide Services uh, with some cargo doors on this side. Uh, as you can see, the gear kind of pivot. It's kind of weird, uh, but as you can kind of tell, they kind of pivot type deal. But I'm gonna give you guys a closer look here on the underbelly and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, that's neat. You got the uh, UPS logo under the nose, and then you have the uh, nose wheel, Gemini Jets, uh, stand hole. And then you have the uh, wheels, as you can tell, they kind of go up and down, pivot. I uh, thought that's an error, but that's actually how it is on some for some, which is nice. I uh, got the loader back there, uh, UPS Tell. What a model. I know I'm not going to be able to use it a lot, but it's $25. I, it went up stand. I can't pass on that for a 747. Really nice to finally have one again, and I'm really glad I bought it. Okay, uh, we have two final uh, next generation models to unbox. Um, I'm gonna leave the Hawaiian for last because we just did an unboxing on a Hawaiian. If you missed that surprise video, I kinda spoiled the surprise for you, but. Anyways, we had the Hawaiian Airbus E330-200 in the new paint scheme and the United 77-9. I'm gonna start with the United. Um, I told uh, Prairie Diecast, the uh, head guy, to surprise me. Originally, I was told him I wanted Alaska 737-800 and the uh, United 79 from, in the new area from the uh, new releases. And then he, uh, and then I changed my mind. I told him I want the uh, a Hawaiian A330 in the last 737. And I changed my mind again. I told him I want the uh, Hawaiian A330 200 and the uh, <laughs> Air Canada uh, A330 300 Star Alliance. And then for the final time, I told him I want the uh, Hawaiian A330 200 in new livery. I'll talk about why in a moment. I know I had the other one, but and then the United 77 9 in the uh, or sorry, and then a random NG model. And he threw this one in there. So very glad I really need a new livery and just a United wide body in general. I don't have one. So this kind of, I have the Delta and then I have all the Americans obviously. So this is kind of the flagship um, finisher, signature if you want to say. But NG Models, um, God, such an awesome company, man. I got too many Gemini's over there. What a box. Uh, you have the globe just representing United's new livery so well. Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner, multiple United titles, and then the computer generated image. Uh, this is gonna be my first NG model in the new livery. Uh, my 757s are in the Easy Toys Warehouse or the uh, uh, California one that is. The New York one's still being produced somewhere in China. Uh, but this one I was not expecting to get, so having two random models be the Hawaiian 821 Neo, and this is super cool. Uh, you got the United NG models. 
uh, awesome box. This will be my uh, second 787. I got the Air Canada as well. And then I'm probably gonna get the British Airways 7810 by NG uh, if I don't get the uh, Gemini Jet. I'm waiting for it to see what that one looks like. Here's the sides looking very nice. Uh, nice how the blue transitions even on the sides. Just the attention to detail by NG models, not only on the models, but on the boxes is just ridiculous. Uh, I'm just stoked by this box, man. I could just look at the box and pay $5 for it, man. That is crazy good artwork. Um, we have no flap, obviously, so let's see how good it looks. I really want 737 if I can, but uh, not gonna beg to differ. You have your styrofoam, um, watch Aviation 18 and uh, ACS 777X uh, review these. So let's get into it from the May releases. On the other side, but it is looking very high. Okay. Start phone off. Take the plastic off. Oh, yes. Don't be broken. Wow. Oh, yes, baby. I have the cockpit windows, the Star Alliance logo, and then you have some titles on here that I have no clue what to say. Um, and then you have the United titles right here. Wow, look at that blue stripe, and then you got the gray underbelly. What a Wi-Fi box here. It looks kind of different, but I was just a little surprised. That's how it's supposed to look. Got the um, antenna here, and then you got the blue engines looking so nice. What a surprise model. I love how they don't have the wing flex here, so I was thinking about maybe doing the Gemini one, but I'm really glad that I decided and waited. That one's not even out yet for Gemini. I was thinking about waiting for that one, but then I saw NG do it, and then I just decided overall just to go with this one. This blue pops, man, it is crazy. And then you have the back here with the L3 door, and then the wheels do pivot. That is so good, man. Uh, this mold's great. I know, I'm not surprised since I did the air can, though, but still, though. Uh, and then you have uh, this November 29975 with the US flag. Dreamliner titles. Look at that blue, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Okay, NG models. This is a 10 out of 10, man. There is no discussion with this model. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. And then on the other side, you got the United titles. Well, that blue is so great. Let's get a look. There it is. God, man, that is unbelievable. Oh, man, the wheels pivot. Man. NG is absolutely demolishing it. And then you have the uh, grayish color down here. You got the stand hole, which kind of blends in, which is kind of neat. That is actually pretty sweet. And then the United Livery. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is worth every penny if you can still find it. Uh, thank you so much for surprising me with this model. You picked a fantastic one to do so. But we have one more final NG model that's going to absolutely rock. Got the Hawaiian Airlines or E3 3200 new paint scheme. Saw pictures of this initially and I had to get it. That's all Gemini just 13's review on this aircraft and then I had to get it even more. Airbus A330-200, what a box with the lay here. And then you have the flowers down here, the Hawaiian Airlines logo and that font, the attention detail, registration, you got the Hawaiian girl, NG, everything, the colors just line up so well. Perfect spot for that logo, perfect spot for that logo. The awesome purple pink fade on the Airbus A330 titles and then the aircraft just finishes it off. Look at the detail on the tail, man. That is absolutely bonkers. Got the Hawaiian Airlines logo down there. Then you got this side with the A330 looking so nice on the silver. It reminds me of the Southwest uh, Canyon Blue Box. What a model. Then the back. Oh, man, it even changes on the back. Got an even lighter purple and then you have the lay there again. Let's finish this off right. I've seen, this model looks so good on video. Um, I got the uh, Gemini 321 Neo that looked really good. And let's finish this off right. Wow, okay, that lived up to the hype and I'm not even fully in there. Uh, same as 787, this is my first A330 by NG Models. Remove that plastic. Let's see if that color lived up. Oh, come on. Oh, NG. Wow. Okay, yeah, that, I'm gonna bring the 321 Neo in here in a moment, but that puts Gemini to shame. NG's gonna top Gemini real soon here. It's not, as Gemini just 13 said, I usually don't quote people, but this is one I'm gonna quote. They, uh, uh, they will not be stopped and can't be stopped. I believe it's how he said it, but it was something along the lines of that. Get out of here. Wow. Okay, shimmy, man. Jeez, let's let's take a look at this, baby. Got the cockpit windows here, the L1 door, 
Uh, I can't tell you exactly what that says. Maybe I'll look it up for you guys. Airbus A3 3200 L1 door. Got the Hawaiian titles, the Wi-Fi box. Nice and small, but looking so clean. The new Hawaiian titles looking fantastic. Um, we got the engines here as well. Now the lay, uh, they asked on their Instagram page what the lay, uh, what if they was like silver or gray. I'll bring the 321 Neo in here real quick. Um, now it looks more silver and not as reflective as the Gemini one. Now the Gemini one is obviously a lot darker gray. Um, on the Gemini box, it looks like a lighter gray. So NG models, again, way to go. I don't think that looks bad on the 321neo right here. Let me zoom out a little here. I don't think that looks bad, but it's incorrect technically because if you look at the box here, once again, if you want to go watch this review, I did it yesterday. It's a lot lighter. It's what is is on the uh, 33200 right here. So NG continues. I honestly kind of like the dark gray, but that doesn't change the fact that it is incorrect. So NG, again, nailing these small details that really make the day. And uh, we're just getting to the day here on this tail, just a moment. Um, and then you have the engines here that look super good. You got the uh, winglets, which have the flower, which look awesome. This is November 389 Hotel Alpha. Uh, the Gemini one doesn't even compare to this uh, in the uh, old livery. The new livery may be a little better. Wow, okay. Look at that tail, baby. You got the flowers and everything, and then you girl. Now uh, let's put the 321 Neo up here and to compare it to that. Um, yeah, I thought this was vibrant. Uh, the the uh, Gemini, or sorry, the NG one is even better. Uh, the flower right here, especially that I'm pointing to with the uh, left horizontal stabilizer, comes out a lot better in person. Um, and the, every color here is just a lot better. Now, the, the girl's about the only thing in the orange flower. Obviously, this is a smaller model. I would like to see the uh, Gemini 33200 in person and the new livery so I can kind of compare actually. Uh, purple, every color on the uh, NG1 looks better. Now, don't get me wrong, the Gemini 321 Neo is not necessarily bad. It's just not as good. This is good, this is top notch. Uh, we ended that review on a high A double note. Wow, that was one heck of a massive unboxing. I've been recording for an hour and 11 minutes. This may get top 45. What an unboxing, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys do not miss any airport updates and more mass unboxings with all these models. We had a heck of a time reviewing these, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so many fantastic models right here, and I'm really excited to file them all into my airports on a uh, consistent, regular basis. So, what a unboxing, guys. Please go check out Prairie Diecast. I really hope you guys, uh, I want to thank them very much for making this video possible. Um, it could not have happened without you guys, and we have a fantastic army of models. None broken. We have an awesome, absolute crazy stuff. What a unboxing, guys. That was crazy. So many good models, too. I'm very happy with the purchase. This was a lot of money, so I'm really glad I was able to do this. Mass Unboxing 9 will be coming soon. Um, my birthday is in like two months, so that may be the next time we do one. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please consider liking the video, like I said, subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and comment if there's anything I can do better or uh, any recommendations or suggestions you may have. But with all that being said, I'll do it for this review, guys. Um, comment your favorite model and comment what you think of this whole video. I really appreciate it. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time as Red River Aviation is signing off.